discussion on discordant grading of severity of aortic stenosis or discordant AS. Discordance between various measures of severity of aortic stenosis is considered as discordant grading of severity of aortic stenosis or simply as discordant AS. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Severe aortic stenosis has aortic Vmax more than or equal to 4 meters per second, mean gradient more than or equal to 40 millimeters of mercury, and effective orifice area less than or equal to 1 square centimeter. Peak aortic velocity and mean gradient are flow dependent measurements while effective orifice area and Doppler velocity index are relatively flow independent. About 20 to 30 percent of patients may have discordant measures of severity of aortic stenosis on echocardiography. Discordance is mostly between effective orifice area and Vmax bar Doppler gradients. Low gradient and Vmax may occur with small effective orifice area. So, the usual discordant AS has effective orifice area less than or equal to 1 square centimeter and mean gradient less than 40 millimeters of mercury. Low flow, low gradient severe aortic stenosis has low stroke volume with stroke volume index less than 35 ml per square meter body surface area. Low stroke volume index can occur with reduced left ventricular ejection fraction or with preserved ejection fraction. Lower stroke volume index is associated incrementally with mortality in low gradient severe aortic stenosis with preserved ejection fraction. Most frequent cause of low gradient aortic stenosis is a low left ventricular outflow state. This could be due to reduced left ventricular ejection which is the classical low flow low gradient aortic stenosis. When there is low flow with preserved ejection fraction, it is paradoxical low flow low gradient aortic stenosis. There is a third category of normal flow low gradient aortic stenosis with small aortic valve area as well. To differentiate between true severe aortic stenosis and pseudo severe aortic stenosis, two investigations are useful. Low dose diabetamine stress echocardiography is useful in classical low flow low gradient aortic stenosis with LV ejection fraction less than 50%. Iotic valve area increases as stroke volume increases with dobutamine in pseudo severe aortic stenosis. But it may not be useful unless the left ventricular stroke volume increases by 20% or more. Iotic valve calcium scoring and multi detector computed tomography are useful in case of low flow low gradient and normal flow low gradient aortic stenosis. A calcium score above 2000 in males and 1250 in females suggests the presence of true severe aortic stenosis. In general, low flow low gradient severe aortic stenosis has worse outcome following aortic wall replacement compared to those with high gradient. Still, there is a survival benefit with AVR. There is also a suggestion that Transcatheter aortic valve implantation may be superior to surgical AVR in this group. Patients with low flow, low gradient aortic stenosis have higher late gadolinium enhancement on cardiac magnetic resonance imaging, suggesting more myocardial fibrosis. This is in comparison with high gradient aortic stenosis. But this was found irrespective of the flow reserve documented by dobutamine stress echocardiography. While measuring left ventricular outflow tract for the continuity equation, measurement is better taken at the level of the aortic valve annulus rather than deeper into the LVOT. Velocity and gradient should be sampled from multiple windows like a apical right sternal border and suprasternal notch to avoid underestimation which can occur in up to 50% of cases. If the data are discordant even after these careful measurements, hybrid imaging may be considered to better define the LVOT cross-sectional area. These include three-dimensional echo and contrast-enhanced computed tomography.
Here are the first set of journal references for the topic. Second set of references are here. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.